Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I have been asked how you can add music to multiple spots in a video and so I am going to do a quick tutorial on how to do that. This tutorial is for someone using Windows Movie Maker version 2012. 2011 is very similar but does not have all the same features and I only know how to use this editor so I can't really answer questions on other editors. I am also on a PC, obviously, so if you're using Windows Movie Maker 2012 and you're on a PC, you can do what I am about to do. First, you're going to need to download some music. I suggest, especially if you're new, that you use music from YouTube's free music library. I have a video, I'll link down below to that video to show you how to do that. The reason I suggest using theirs is they are very strict about copyright issues and yes, there are ways to use other music, but if anybody complains about a copyright issue, YouTube will automatically take their side. So if you're new, stay safe, use the music that YouTube is providing for you. Okay, so let's say that you have your video clip here in Movie Maker and you want to add some music. What I usually do is the first thing I do is I select all and then I turn my video volume off and that way there's no voice. It's up to you if you want voice and music you can certainly do that but for this video since I'm already talking to you I'm going to turn all the voice off. If you want to have music starting right at the beginning it doesn't matter where your cursor is you're going to go to home, add music, and if you click add music, it's going to automatically start at the beginning. If you want it to start in another point, then you have to have your cursor at a different point, And I'll show you that in a minute. Add music. And you can see all the songs that I have downloaded already. And let's just go to Green Days and let's listen. Okay, say if I wanted that music to stop right there. I just have my cursor right there. I'm going to Music Tools, Split. And if I'm going to be using the music somewhere else and I want it to start right at that same point, I'm just going to put my, my cursor on the music bar. And I'm just going to slide it down and get it out of my way. And it will restart wherever I want it to restart. And if you want the music to fade out, then you just click on the music bar, go to Music Tools, fade out and I usually use medium. Now let's listen to that clip. So you can play with that. And if you wanted like the volume to be off on this video but then have the volume come back on, well then you would just put your cursor to where the music stops. Now make sure you're on video tools. You can split that and then at this point, you can highlight this section and put your volume back up. And this is how it would be. I purposely turned my phones off today. And that's how that works. Okay, so as for splitting the music up to different sections, again, like I said, you can split your music up as much as you want. If you click on the bar, you can move it to anywhere you want. So you'd be able to have it start up here. Greenwood Center. And you can also fade in if you want the music to start out softer. Then if you wanted a whole different other song, let's just click on this and get this out. Then if you wanted a different song to start right here, you just put your cursor there, go back to home, go back to add music, and you would add music at the current point. Let's pick funk down. And the music would start there. And with all music, you just, wherever you are, if you go to music tools, you are able to split it and play with it. And you can increase the volume of the music, make it louder, make it softer, all kinds of fun things. So I hope this helped. Please ask me if you have more questions and ask me questions about anything because I want to do a lot of these little tutorials, especially if you are using Windows Movie Maker. 12 because that's all I can teach right now. It's the only one I know. So thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!